All right, hello peeps. Just come to look at this boat. That was, uh, ran up all over the reef over there. I was talking to the, uh, the guy that was helping the owner. He said that the seaweed got in the rudder and all that and it got hooked up and then they dragged across the reef. The cut is out there where she lays now. Uh, she ran aground in, uh, what is that, July 1st. Today is July 30th, so about 29 days. She's sitting here, it doesn't look like anybody's made an attempt to salvage it. Gravity store. Well, the gravity's taking its toll now. Yeah, they just both had it. Definitely got some holes under there. Take a snorkel around it. Now, 30 days and no attempt. See if we can take a quick look in there. sticking up in there a nice little boat I think she's had it it's probably still worth salvaging but it ain't an easy one yeah got to get it all the way over there Take a walk around it. Definitely got some holes under here. I mean, it's been rocking on this rock right here for almost 30 days now. She gone bush, man. Yeah, you can't get it out that way because you'd have to drag it over the reef. You got to get it all the way down that way. You got drag bottom the whole way. You got to do it. Probably get it out of here in a little bit deeper water, flip it over, put some lift bags on it, and tow it down that way. Gonna get uh, as soon as we get some big waves, man. These things need to get pushed up. If they're gonna salvage it, they better hurry up. Well, that sail is shredded, man. Take this boat. Let me do a little snorkel around it. Let's go in and get the other camera. Wonder what the uh, salvage laws are on this. I mean, it's been here for almost 30 days, no attempt. But right, they better hurry up if they're gonna salvage it. Because we got some big waves that's gonna get pushed up in here and then you gotta get it over all these rocks here. Yeah, victim of the Sargasso seaweed, man. The guy said he was using GPS on the way out through the cut because there was so much seaweed covering over the opening. Not me, man. I wouldn't trust no GPS through that narrow cut. Only visual. 
that or just don't go out on a day when the cut is covered with seaweed Alright, let me grab the other camera and go snorkel around that sucker. See we can see a hole. Alright, heading out there. Heading back out here. A lot of sea urchins down mine. Mash up your foot. Could have been just an insurance job on this one. <laughs> Running up on the reef, man.
rudder's broke, you know. That probably is. Take one more look. First storm comes back. It's gonna be smacking on this rock here, and that one's gonna tear the hell out of it. Oh well. A victim of the Sargasso seaweed mine. Yeah, me and some friends were thinking about trying to salvage it. Not an easy one, that's for sure. You could get a barge up here. You could... Cause you gotta get it way down there. I don't know, maybe if you could get it out a little further. Let's take a look out there.
So I guess if he got it out about this far, a little further, he could tow it down that way. It's about what? Four and a half, five foot deep here. I wonder if they didn't just accidentally sail right up through here, not realizing they were in the cut. Yeah, I think it's a few more weeks that holds. Yeah. Like I said, man, gravity taking it. Boat on the rock. You can't just pull that out, man. Yeah, like I said, a few more weeks. Wiping out the coral. 